Hey everyone, we have a giveaway going on right now for a special edition Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom OLED. We also have the Collector's Edition Tears of the Kingdom and more being given away down in the pinned comment or in the description. Thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. We are on a new subscription goal to try to get to 133,000 subscribers. Well, let's say by the end of May. I know it's kind of a crazy one. We're pushing hard here. But why 133? Because Nintendo's 133 years old. All right, let's get into this news. And we have three things we need to talk about. And the first one is a commercial that leaked for Tears of the Kingdom. I'm going to take a little bit of risk. I'm going to show you the commercial a little bit. It's going to be slightly blurred. Uh, there's no spoilers in this commercial, to be clear. It doesn't show us anything we didn't already know other than the name of the Gliok monster, which to me isn't that big of a spoiler. Now, there are new gameplay footage in here, of course, but the biggest thing is the new attachment that's on Link Shield. Again, slightly blurred, so you guys can discover that attachment for yourself, and we don't even know what it does because Link doesn't use it. It's also notable that the Gliok itself now has a name. It's called a Flame Gliok. Uh, that's really interesting and does seem to suggest that there will be other elemental versions of this Gliok, which matches something we talked about in a supposed leak months ago on our channel. Now, it does show an underground area as well that appears to be as far underground as one of the lower sky islands that we've seen. And Link shoots an arrow at a plant that seems to light it up and provide some light underground. So this is one of the biggest confirmations of underground we've had to date since we have actual underground coordinates. And that's really it. He does use a send at a Boca Bling camp, but of course he can because there's a ceiling. People are making a big deal out of this whole thing. I don't know. It's sort of a big deal that it leaked because this is official stuff that probably wasn't supposed to go public for a while. And it's supposedly an unfinished commercial, but... It's whatever. Uh, it's out there, so I figured we'd talk about it. Now, another piece of news we have for Tears of the Kingdom deals with Matthew Mercer. That's right. Matthew Mercer is actually the voice of Ganondorf. He got permission from Nintendo yesterday to share the news. Now, he's done a lot of voice work in the industry. So first off, just in terms of animation, he's worked on Attack on Titan, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Kill la Kill, Persona 4, Naruto, and several others. In video games, he's voiced characters such as Leon Kennedy from Resident Evil 6, Curtis Stryker from Mortal Kombat 9, Krom in Fire Emblem, and so many more. In other words, Matthew Mercer is an extremely accomplished voice actor, and it's really cool they got him to do the voice of Ganondorf here in English. Now, we also got some new official art. First up, obviously Ganondorf here. Cool, right? This is the big one that everyone's been sharing. But did you know we also got new official art for other characters, such as Sidon, Riju, and Tullin? The three characters that we know fight alongside Link at some point during the game. I do have a theory about these characters. I think they might be related to some dungeons, but we'll we'll talk about that in another video. Now, there's some other things I do want to talk about with Tears of the Kingdom, but I'm going to split it off into its own video because it deals with the visuals in the game and some actual evidence we have on all those visual improvements. But I just want to say that that Tears of the Kingdom trailer... You know, getting away from the live reaction and, and the breakdown we did, the, the hour and a half uh, deep dive we did into it, I just want to say that Nintendo's marketing has just been brilliant. Uh, I've been pretty critical of their marketing up until the final month, and I did mention along the way the way Nintendo handled the marketing for this game was a bit tepid. They were keeping things close to the vest. And I did say, with a month to go, they were just going to blow our minds. They were going to give us a whole bunch of stuff. I don't know that waiting until a month out is the correct move. I think that you could have enticed consumers much sooner. But then we see all the pre-order numbers. And this is where I admitted that the point of marketing is to sell the game. right? When you're marketing before the game comes out, pre-order numbers are really what you're looking at. And pre-order numbers are passing Breath of the Wild so quickly, pretty much worldwide, that it's undeniable the marketing was already good before this trailer dropped, or at least good enough for what marketing is supposed to do, and that is sell the game before it comes out. Now this trailer has dropped, and it's getting universally praised. 
Some people even think it's better than the 2017 Breath of the Wild trailer. Some don't think it's quite as good as that one. I will note one interesting thing is both trailers do repeat some of the same beats in terms of how it's presented, but both trailers were trying to do two different things. Tears of the Kingdom needed to tease a ton of stuff to us because we knew so little, whereas Breath of the Wild's trailer didn't necessarily contain as much new, but rather just resold us on the world. And that's totally fine because we had actually already seen a lot of Breath of the Wild by the time that trailer came out. And that's what made that trailer so brilliant is despite seeing a lot of Breath of the Wild, that trailer still felt epic and amazing. And Tears of the Kingdom, we really didn't see anything until this trailer. Uh, so this trailer really did a lot to show us a lot of new there's going to be a lot of people that, that are going to voice their opinions one way or another on which one's better, but all I know is that this is probably, if anyone was sitting around waiting uh, to see what this game has to offer, this was the trailer for them. This obviously was the trailer for people as well that just don't care about spoilers and want everything told to them. So, look, we're going to get more information on the game. This isn't it. Just because it's the final trailer, we could get another gameplay session. We're definitely going to get media previews and media reviews and screenshots, maybe a little more official art. Heck, they might not be done with merchandise. We could still get new Amiibo. Hello, we need the Samurai Ganondorf Amiibo. It needs to exist. We need a short hair Zelda Amiibo. I'm sorry, it needs to exist. Heck, we need a Construct Amiibo. It needs to exist. But beyond that... Yeah, they could still have other announcements, like a Master's Edition that I've heard about, not announced yet. That could still be something they just randomly drop because they do random drops. Uh, they, they could also have other merchandise. We're starting to see uh, some stuff coming in from Play Asia, uh, some new little gimmicks and, and, and flaps and little things you can buy for your Switch that is official merchandise, but all of that's coming out of Japan. Uh, we could see more announcements like that. So there's going to be other Tears of the Kingdom news along the way, but... Today, I wanted to bring you that three-pack of stuff we've gotten over the last, uh, you know, 24, 20 hours or so. And yes, I will immediately begin work on my next video, which details out a lot of stuff about uh, the visuals in this game and showing shot-for-shot -shot improvements that are pretty much undeniable that this game is much better looking visually. That being said, later today, around 1 p.m. Central Time, we are going to be over on Game Over Jesse's channel on his Highly in Gamecast. I'm going to put a link to it uh, down in the description. I really hope you guys come and check it out. I'm going to be featured on there talking about Tears of the Kingdom along with, obviously, Game Over Jesse, Andres Restart, The Geek Apprentice, and, yes, Andre from Game Explain. We're getting Game Explain up in this conversation. So it's going to be a lot of fun, and I can't wait. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and as always, we'll catch you in that next video.